Will Russia return an American astronaut from ISS? Despite the tensions produced by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, NASA stated that American astronaut Mark Van Hey would return to Earth aboard a Russian spacecraft. Soyuz spaceship carrying the astronaut and two other cosmonauts, Pyotr Dubrov and Anton Shkapelrov, is scheduled to land on the Kazakh steppe on March 30. Dmitry Rogozin, Russia's space leader, shared a video on Twitter last week showing a Russian crew leaving the station, leaving one American astronaut behind. The Russian space agency Roscosmos is still operating closely with NASA, despite the inflammatory statements made by its CEO, Dmitry Rogozin, on social media. Mark Van Hey and Anton and Pyotr will be returning home on March 30. International Space Station program manager Joel Montalbano confirmed the news with Russian colleagues. Before each of these significant events, we do a preparation assessment. Every member of the foreign team came together to do a readiness evaluation and unanimously agreed that Anton, Pyotr, and Mark would be returning home. The space industry is experiencing a period of unparalleled change, as the survival of the International Space Station and international cooperation are in jeopardy. In response to Western sanctions, Roscosmos has halted several deals with former partners. European spaceport in French Guiana is now off-limits to Soyuz launches and a satellite owned by a UK startup has been rejected. Rogozin has already threatened to leave the ISS, and in the last few days he claimed that the station may crash on US or European soil. Roscosmos has not said if it intends to depart the space station sooner than the 2031 deadline set by NASA. Using its Russian supply ship Progress MS-19, the ISS is able to maintain its position with refueling operations that are performed by the Russian section. The ISS's US-owned Cygnus ship can reboost, but Mr. Montalbano claims it is not powerful enough to manage the ISS's attitude.